methods. That's it, no more lives. Gentlemates haven't lost any through Swiss, but now, oh, hold on a second, almost an early goal there. Itachi trying to make magic our kickoff. Hapjack as well, and how, how good of a tournament has he had so far? See Genji coming in. It's the number two seed out of North America. A bit of a topsy-turvy Swiss stage. Getting through as that number eight seed. And general mates, well, they came in from that European Open qualifiers. And they look like the number four seed, but coming at number one here in the Swiss, I mean, they're just peaking at the right time. Oh, they have such a consistent play style. Itachi has been doing this for quite some time. Itachi, a major champion in his own right, looking to add one more title to his belt. Just land winners everywhere, but that meant first killer on Gen G. The odd man out there amongst his teammates, obviously the major winners. That's Jack and Cornig, and it's gonna be Itachi! Itachi. It up. Itachi was the top scorer through Swiss. Online, he was more of a support player, but he has been playing a leading role for Gentlemates. The perfect start for Gentlemates. Picking up where they left off in the Swiss stage, oh, and maybe one more! And we already saw this at the beginning of the game. Gentlemates off kickoff, generating, you could see Juicy slow down, not flip into that kickoff, and that was a beautiful kickoff tactic. I mean, we see with the Falcons, they implement that K-Corp as well. The kickoff strategies, Johnny Bo's gonna be absolutely loving this. Gentlemates, with two already in a touchy, as you said, that major winner last season. Already got a brace. Roster upheavals. Everyone trying to catch up to Vitality. Gentlemates, with this all new squad. They had some good results online, but here in Copenhagen, they have been at an extra level, CJ. You have to think for Gen G as well. You look at North America, currently outperforming G2. They've beaten them three times. This is the best that North America has to offer. Gentlemen, it's right now with the perfect start in game one. At Jack, though, trying to get something to work. Sideball, Seiko clearing to the side. First killer up now off the corner. Can't quite get it to work. Juicy, the new kid on the block for Gentlemen. Hasn't he been impressive so far? Certainly has. Was on Moist. Had some limited success there. Moist going their separate ways. Juicy finding a new home, and it has been working out. But this is the reason all these teams have formed to claim total victory at a major and at Worlds. Seiko looking for that double. Apparently Jack going for goal and he catches the defense out. Yeah, just a positional mistake there and at Jack's ready downfield. First killer with the pass. You see Jack just trusting his teammate with the clear and that you, as we said, Juicy, the most inexperienced member of Gentlemates there just getting caught out of touch. Gen G, they're fighting back. Juicy off the ceiling, beats Chronic. Backboard denied by first killer. Rebound though to Seiko. Seiko pinch pass. First killer getting a piece of it, but a nice boost steal from Juicy. He doesn't get the infield pass, and now the counterattack is on. Itachi a bit awkward. Pass across the goal. Apparently Jack going all the way back, grabs the mid boost. Yeah, FK's just surging downfield, but they've lost possession. Seiko now, 23 boost. Doesn't quite get the touch that he wants. Demo's coming through at Jack, and hasn't he been physical this tournament? He that off ball has. play, there's the touch. Awkward read right now off the bar, follow up. FK just throws it to the side. He said apparently Jack, so many demos coming out from him yeah. here in Copenhagen. But now Seiko in a 1v1 situation with apparently Jack, and Jack will clear it safely over to the corner. But Itachi now looking for a play in first killer. Again, there to deny. Gen G forced to play a lot of defense, but there's another demo from apparently Jack. There's yeah, so many demos in the Swiss stage, and land no different for him. But touch, he's got a free touch. What can he do, Jack, with the read again? Gentlemates, keeping pressure on. However, there is Jack, forcing it for Juicy to the wall for himself. Gets one more. Chronic trying to work it around, but he's given it to Itachi. Ceiling touch. No one home for Gentlemates. Good. Snag there from first killer. Itachi stays in the play with low boost and still wins it in. You can see all of Genji working together to get that clear. Juicy up against first killer who's staying in the corner. Apparently Jack goes very far up. It's gonna be a weak shot easily saved and now a kickstart on the counter attack. Juicy with boost, lets it bounce. Flip reset, going for the bump, but first killer went high on the challenge. Yeah, first killer's speed's been immense in his first game. Minute 10 for Genji to get to work here. They need a goal. Itachi with the clear downfield, Chronic. 
It's a little bit awkward, but he gets a nice first touch. There's the reset. Over Great the top pass. of Jersey, pass shot off wide. And no follow-up. Jack having a way back here in the midfield. Oh, but Genji. you can see, first killer was parking underneath the Tachi, and that put possession back into the hands of Genji. Gentlemates trying to hold on for this final minute. They're peppering the net, but they can't quite get that one in the back of the net. Juicy. Trying to find a clear, does really well. Jack just has to go, but he's been beaten on the 50. Uh -oh. It's going to be open, but first killer back in time. Gentlemates, not willing to push forward. 30 seconds left for Gen G. First killer moving up field. Apparently, Jack reads the touch, gets the double. Tie. You can see first killer was trying to get there, but Juicy had great positioning on the backboard. Chronic with a 50 will be low on boost. Needs help, finds it, and apparently, Jack. But Seiko's there to deny the clear. Just trying to ice it out here. Ten seconds left. Gen G have to get to work. What can they do, gentle mates? Oh. Just looking to get the oh. ball down. First killer shot saved by Juicy. What can they do here? There's the pass across, but it does count. Ball still alive. They're trying to keep oh, it up. Chronic, chronic briefly. Gentle mates take game one. What a close game. And with more difficult save, you're the end of that game. I mean, gentle mates, other teams here in Copenhagen have spoken about just how they're the teamiest team, and it sounds funny to say, James, but just such a complete outfit. But you know, outfit. you know exactly what they're talking about. It's those teams that have that extra layer of cohesion. And you're not looking and for that. And Itachi has always been a player like that, that can bring more to a team. And you're not looking for that superstar player either. Obviously, they've got world chance, major chance, but hang on a minute, the demos come through. Could this be wide open for Seiko? Another early goal for Gentlemates. And Seiko, the world champion on this roster, the one who was leading the way during the open qualifiers. Well, he can't, he, he do, not only does it online, he'll do it on land as well. Just picking up where they left off out of that Swiss stage. And I mean, we talk about boot camps. These guys, I'm not sure if they've been home since the, Euro, since the European open qualifiers. I mean, these guys. Performing out of their facility here, General Mates, with so much support, oh! and off the fire, it's Hachi again! You can see the panic in Genji's defense. Itachi gets the hit, the demo from behind, the pre-flip from Itachi. He barely beats first killer to that ball. They're just getting caught out with the speed, and you saw Seiko with the demo on that last man as well. It was apparently Jack in game number one with the physicality. General mates, they've answered right back. They have, and that was a lovely little back pass from Seiko. Another There's bump. a bump from Itachi. Genji having to calculate whether that was a pass. Genji forced to play quite a bit of defense so far in this series. They're looking a little bit rattled as well. Just from those kickoffs, the little bump plays, these easy goals that they might be giving up here. Perhaps not used to the pressure from this European outfit. Seiko keeping that ball in. And there's the clear from Chronic. So over a minute gone, and again, two goals inside the first minute. It's a rinse repeat of game number one. And Gen G find two. First killer had a top five play yesterday. Gen G needs some of that offensive firepower right now. Will he get any space? We've seen lots of demos from Gentlemates, but here's some space, and it will be boost as well for first killer. And we want to see him get active for Gen G. So he has that superstar potential. He can take over games. We haven't quite seen it yet. Here's Juicy, though, and has an EP good so far. Reset ceiling. Gets bumped off it. Jack now. Reset of his own. Finding first kill of it. Seiko. What an interception. He's and he's going to keep his ball. And it's a two-on-one. It's an easy oh, bump. And Chronic team. doing so well. Chronic saw that play coming from a mile away. Doesn't make it any easier to dodge, but managed to do it. Keeping Gen G close, and that's going to be the third goal! Itachi is popping off! They're just all over them here in the first series. Gentlemates, yet to taste defeat in Copenhagen so far. The crowd does not seem to bother them one bit. And it's the veteran Itachi who is blazing this trail for Gentlemates. Ball back to Juicy. Juicy denied by apparently Jack Itachi. Trying to do even more damage. He sees the pass lane, goes for it. It's a change up, and it's saved off the line. Even the fact that he's going for that shot just shows how confident Gentlemates are. Three goal lead, still half the game gone. And as we said, this is where you have to look at first killer. The demos are coming through, but this time it's not for apparently Jack. It's, it's Gentlemates getting active with that pressure. 
Gen G started out the game very physically, but it's been Gentlemates who have been having the success with the demos. First killer pinched the ball up, trying to set himself up, but it was too far away, and Juicy shuts the play down. It just looks rushed there, rushed there first killer. He had time, but this is what the pressure can do. Here's a free shot for apparently Jack gets one back. Apparently Jack scoring yet again. Seiko looking for a clear, ended up passing right out into the middle, and you can see Juicy being chased by Chronic. I mean, what a common trend for both sides there, just looking to bump that last guy out of net, make it as easy as possible for the shot or the solo play to come through. I'm back here, two minutes still, a lot of time for Gen G to get cooking. Who will be that chef that can serve up some goals? Gentlemates have apparently had Gen G's number this game. Juicy will push it forward. Seiko will have this ball. It's going to be tough to control. It decides to just boom it downfield. Boom ball back and forth. Itachi not able to get the touch maybe that he was looking for. And it's a bit awkward. And now, Gentlemates on defense. Gen G just lacking a little bit of connection up front. I want to see some pass plays coming through. Here we go. Could it be a fake? FK tries to get the 50. Jack's underneath. He's backflipped out of the way. But Chronic still keeping the pressure on. First killer. Trying to intercept. Juicy with the clear downfield again. It's just a touch off in their synergy at the moment. Gen G not quite finding each other downfield. Apparently, Jack goes to the bump. You see first killer going. It has created space. Well, but very risky. Juicy wins the 50. They've sent the house here. Minute left. General mates, can they get one more? Pop over the top. First killer gets a touch. First killer was third man, but did well enough on that 50 to make sure they don't get scored on. However, Gen G needs two goals, and that's just to send it to overtime. Touchy. Into the corner, there's first killer again with the clear, but they need it down the other end, need that connection. Double 50 coming through, Juicy. Trying to keep this ball in the orange end. Still a two goal lead for Gentlemates. A 2 0 lead will be huge in this best of seven. Uh -oh. But it's a massive 50, and it's an awkward read here for Seiko. He's going to buy time, he saw the space. He did so well there in defense. You can see apparently Jack taking a bit too much time, still did get the corner boost. We'll need some help. That's going to be a hard shot, though. Easily saved. First killer infield pass, low 50, and it's chipped off the line by Itachi. Now the counterattack is on. He just fell down onto that ball, another pass across, but they don't need a goal right now, gentlemen. mates. 14 seconds away, unless a miracle can happen here for Gen G. But look at Juicy again. 10 seconds left. Gentle mates, just so impressive this tournament. They're peaking at the right time. They're going to get one back here, Chronic. Three seconds. We saw the kickoff strategies. From the other side of things, what did Gen G have in store here? There's still time left. We know it's possible, but there needs to be a kickoff play for Gen G. See if they have it. Trying to go for a kill. Gets back right. It is airborne. First killer has half a tank, decides to pass it off to Jack. Jack let it through, wasn't able to control it. And Gentlemates win two back to back. Saying, will we even see an all EU top four? It's possible. And we might be taking small steps there if Gentlemates keeps this performance going. We speak about apparently Jack's leadership. He's smart. Putting out a lot of tutorials, instructional videos. What does he have here? Here's a reset. Oh. What a save, Juicy, getting underneath. That's a great positive for apparently Jack. It's not first killer getting the touch. There's oh, another the fake, fake out. I like this from Gen G. Much stronger start than the first two games. Oh, they are coming out much more fierce than we have seen them. Can they keep this momentum, this pace? Seiko getting shut down by Jack. Itachi trailing behind the ball. Seiko's also up. That's too committed. Juicy has to buy time. Pops it right up to Jack. Jack will try to control it. Goes for a 50, wins it forward. And there's a bump. It looked like it might have even been a double bump, potentially, from apparently Jack. Gentlemates overcommitting in that corner. Seiko getting caught out. He cut rotation and wanted another piece of it. In the end, apparently Jack getting the bump. Gen G, what a start. We talked about the first two games, how slow they were out of the blocks. They called the timeout. And now we see an instant response from them. It just seems like Gen G has that killer instinct now, whereas they did not have it before. Well, as someone, James, that's always losing in series, particularly on land, something we always speak about is, if you're going to lose, lose playing your way. Gen G are doing right. They're just doing it right now, playing the play style that they want to. They're not worried about what gentlemen have up front. 
they're playing with speed and they're playing with confidence. And we've seen apparently Jack up there in the midfield trying to be that first first man out on the breakout. Yep. A lot of times he's been looking for demos. That time though, he's just going for goal. Apparently Jack has been the shooter for Gen G so far. I'd love to see the average speed coming through from this game, the change up from the first two for Gen G. This is so much better. This is what we saw in the final open qualifier in North America. Gen G being able to outplay G2 back in NA. And right now they're outplaying gentle mates in game three. Juicy into the corner, 53. What do gentle mates do? They've never been in this spot so far this series. Facing that deficit, that's an interesting touch coming through. Jack's up, loses it, but first killer in net. Clear downfield. Three and how about a third goal? Gentle mates. They threw everything they had. Juicy needed to get that pass over to Itachi. Instead, he bounced past it for a counterattack, leaving his teammate in a 3v1. Are we starting to see some nerves from Gentlemates? What a response. I mean, we talk about the timeout buff, and people get sick of me talking about it, but well, you're seeing it right there. Just that extra moment to reset things. It's done at Genji a world of good here. Three goals, more than they've scored so far in the series before that. Chronic getting the 50, Juicy coming through, and again, this is where Gentlemates, the ball's in their court now as the pace has just been picked up for Gen G. They're not too worried about this offense. They're not worried about the bumps. They're just backing themselves in individually with confidence and using each other. First killer goes up, gets a beat, has a reset. It's very awkward, Seiko makes a touch. Gentlemates hanging in there. They don't want to concede four goals here in game three. Oh, and it's a double commit. Gentlemates not able to respond to this change in speed from Gen G. Also, we've seen a couple double commits. Not the best passes, but now we do see a chance for Gentlemates. An early flick up, and you see a demo as well. First killer getting involved. Yeah, Chronic with an interesting touch. He uh, went to the backboard, tried to find first killer, who got demoed out of the play. Again, Gentlemates, it looks a lot scrappier than it did first. Here we go. Chronic has to make the touch. Almost gets faked out from the shot. Two minutes left for Gentlemates to try and get back into it. First killer up in the air. He's looking for that 50. Apparently Jack staying underneath. We're seeing these challenges coming through here. And again, it's an awkward spot and it's got it almost. Here you go. First killer, hasn't he been huge in game three? Massive save there. First killer doesn't just have the offensive chops. He can do it all. First killer, looking for a solo play, looking to get up 50 there. Was hoping to dunk that through, but smartly not challenged there by Gentlemates. How smart's this been from Genji as well? Three goal lead, and now they're not worried. There's a whiff coming through from Seiko. All out of trouble on that crossbar, but Chronic keeping it in, just keeping the pressure on. Focusing on the boost control, and just not giving them an easy out here, Gentlemates, just trying to work it through, but just not finding anything. A minute left, they still need three. Final minute here, first killer up against Itachi. Ops to get the corner boost steal. Itachi back pass. Seiko, flip reset. Going for a goal, it's off the bar, rebound. Itachi going for a pass over to Juicy, but Juicy had crept in, maybe wanting to take that shot on his own. It feels like they've swapped places here, these two teams. It's Seiko with a huge win. And that just has to be game three secured there for Gen G. It looks like Gentlemates are rattled. What was said at that timeout, CJ? I mean, the confidence now, as we said, it, it, they're lacking connection, Gentlemates. It, just, it was Gen G's problem in the first two games, but look at them now. They're winning these 50s. They're winning the midfield game. And they're playing with so much more confidence. 30 seconds left. Will it be a clean sheet? That'll do. Certainly Gen G, what a wonder throughout the series to deny and a touch is really awkward. He's just completely missed that one. Oh, five oh on the board for Gen G. The wheels have fallen off for Gentlemates. Five to nothing. One of the craziest turnarounds in a series after a timeout that I have seen. They just look like they didn't have the play style to, to match it with Gentlemates. One timeout. An extra 90 seconds is all they needed here. Apparently, Jack, 5-0. I mean, you mates, they scored two goals in the first minute of, of game one and two. 
call a timeout, Gen G. And in game three, have held a clean sheet with five goals to their own. Two games. We can control this one in game four. It's always easy to try and write that one off, but you lose this game as well, and all of a sudden, the momentum has just completely swung the other way in a five-goal game three. We'll see if Gen G can build off that. Itachi's up, awkward for first killer at Jack. On that backboard, still has boost, gets bumped out of the way. It's an early start here for the general mates off that kickoff. A little bit of pressure of their own. Juicy. In a touch quiet oh, so big far. Demo. First killer just picked up that corner boost off the respawn. Got demoed right away. This will make things really difficult for Gen G. But first killer dodges the bump and gets that mid boost. Gen G able to march up field. Apparently, Jack. Being challenged here, this is going to be a chance for Seiko. He's got enough boost to make the play, but didn't have enough time to get up. The bounce shot's weak, and it's a backflip save from Chronic. I love that pass from Seiko, but in the end, they could not find the net there, gentle mates. Genji escaping out of that one. Scott free, there's the pop over the top. Chronic double commits with first killer. Juicy keeps that ball in. Better get a beat out on Chronic as well. He's very awkward with the demo came through first killer. The support play in defense. Let's get them out for now. Seiko trying to find Itachi upfield. Itachi able to switch the side. Now waiting for a 50 bails out. That's a strong challenge, but first killer there to sweep the line. Now trying to march upfield. Oh, Seiko's got one, two, and no! Almost three. And three almost! Oh, it's wide! Four. Not in either. Seiko trying to produce some magic. Can he go again? There's the dark follow up again. 50. Blocked out by Gen G. And after getting shut out last game, you know Gentlemates are eager to score and maybe should have on that play. But now they find through their way through finally after an immense amount of pressure, battering down the defenses of Gen G. They just looked frustrated in the end, and brute force got the job done. Itachi with the bump in net. Securing that shot. First killer couldn't reach it in time. General mates get the first on the ball, which, well, that seems huge for them. When they have conceded the first goal, James, they can see four more. Small sample size, but I can't say that you're wrong, CJ. <laughs> first killer with the flick. Seiko popping it to the side. He has found, so he found a tattoo, but apparently Jack with a beat out. Juicy, there's the midfield beat that we like. Hop across. Apparently Jack. It's a flick, a nice little joint play. It's a beautiful setup for Jack, who is upstairs. And first killer with the shot on. Jack takes it high. Silly touch off the joint for Chronic. Don't we like seeing that? And Seiko, that's not the 50 that he wanted, but look at the quality on that finish. Oh, yes, and also smart from Jack to force that 50 high. Sometimes a ceiling pass is exactly what you're looking for. And that was just what was needed. And now a kickoff opportunity. Juicy stretching to keep these teams even. Both sides just flirting with danger a little bit on that kickoff. Seiko's got a lot of space. First killer has to go underneath as well, just to dispossess. Give Chronic that free touch and a beat and a demo as uh -oh. well. It's a two on one. Uh -oh. Jack tries to fake. Juicy doing so well there in net. Well navigated. Juicy stuck between a rock and a hard place, but somehow find a w found a way to wiggle out. Space here for Chronic. He's got Jack on the side. Ops to go for a 50. First killer now. Not able to make the most of that either, but you're seeing Genji try to drain the boost out of Gentlemates. But that hit off Chronic. You can see the double commit now. A bit awkward. Yeah, the Gentlemates still aren't ready to, to capitalize on those little mistakes. And that's been the difference here. After that game three, they're just sitting back a little bit. And oh my goodness, Jack's gone low. Genji in front. Apparently, Jack is the tip of the Gen G spear, and he finds his mark once more. I mean, you could only fit a ball there in that bottom right corner, but what placement there from Jack. So smart, baiting out the touch, going low. Little ground pinch as well. Gen G with the lead again. General mates weren't able to push forward. Usually, when they get one, they're looking for a kickoff goal, looking to get two, but. This pressure from Gen G has been immense. Juicy now. Get dispossessed by first killer who hands it off to Chronic. Looking for a 50 on Seiko. Pops it high. Gotta get one more, but there it is again. The, the midfield game right now from Gen G has been a massive improvement. And Juicy's very awkward. Demo's coming through. Both sides will escape. The demos have been traded back and forth. Oh, and now a 
infield pass broken up. Itachi will hit it off to the side. No one from Gentlemates there. Apparently, Jack will launch it towards the backboard. Controlled by Juicy, who takes it down into a dribble, but that's denied by Chronic. Up in the air now, Itachi, 50 by first killer. Apparently, Jack against Seiko, and apparently, Jack launches it by him. I'm not sure how he got that touch. He got boost as well, and again, three shots on Juicy with the save. Right now, it feels like Gentlemates just overthinking things a little bit. Not getting it as easy as they did in those first two games. Apparently, Jack up. Does he get the 50? Tachi can't quite get that one on net. First killer again, a 51 by Gen G. Sidewall, low boost for FK, but he's still up. He wants one more. Oh, he's got one more. Oh. Apparently, Jack short on wide. Gen G have to be careful not to overcommit. That's a big dive, and it's going to be a wide open net. First killer is too fast. Gen G just all over Gentlemates, and again, the midfield challenges. Just too quick, the positioning too good for FK. A two goal lead, 19 seconds left. It's kickoff strat time. Juicy does find a way to get it over to Seiko, but Seiko wasn't able to tip it out and now uses up all his boots without doing much. Does find the infield pass, it's off the backboard, but apparently Jack there to break up the play and might even just bounce in, it does! What a read from apparently Jack. Itachi throwing everything at it. Gen G, four on the board. A statement off that timeout. And now they've tied this series up to a piece. Apparently, Jack, it is clear that he is feeling it. Mechanically, he is in the zone. This is a different Gen G than we saw from the first two games, almost adding one more. Gen G. They win this game, and surely they force that timeout out of Gentlemates. But if you look back far enough, there's some positives here for NA. Here we go. Game number five's upon us. Both teams, timeout's gone. No more excuses. Let's see fake. what we got. Been seeing a lot of fakes from those corner bounces. Could even see a bump attempt in net, but Itachi with a clean 50 win. All in the hands of Juicy. Juicy. Now off the ceiling, contested nicely by Jack. First killer, try to get behind this one as well. It pinches back out to the middle. Itachi, the pop-up, chronic there to sweep off the goal line. Now Itachi again looking for the infield pass, but apparently Jack is there first. Lob up, chronic says, I'll wait for this touch. And now we'll rotate out. You just see how locked in Gen.G are as well. You saw chronic in defense before, just baiting out the touch, waiting for the attacker to come in, and it's been the story of this game. They're just making smarter decisions. Jack with a redirect, gets it on net. It's how she's ready for it somehow. It's first killer, keeping the pressure on. It's crazy how precise you have to be in order to put those balls on target to get that shot. Apparently, Jack did it last game. Almost finding a crazy goal there. First killer off the ceiling. Back to the ball. It's a musty, but will be easily received by Itachi. The crowd liked that one, though. The mechanics coming out, I'm sure. We'll be seeing a lot more of that over the weekend. It's first killer, and again, that just shows how comfortable they're looking. And even in defense now, game one and two, they looked a little bit rattled. We saw the, the double commits. They weren't linking up now. So much confidence from this Gen.G lineup. There's a the pass again. Juicy and Itachi are ready for it. But Space. Apparently, Jack. With boost, ceiling, 50. Can't quite get that one to work. General mates. A little bit more settled off that timeout. It's certainly not what they had in game one and two. Oh, that is a huge clear. Might have even been a little bit of a pinch there off first killer who was going for that challenge. That's a hard shot. Top corner from Seiko. Yeah, Seiko just reminds everyone that he's a world champ. Look at the precision over the top of Jack. Top corner. That's quality from him and might just be the catalyst for Gentlemates off that timeout. Step up moment from Seiko. Who also grabs that mid boost. Juicy demo and Chronic out of the air. Seiko having to fight through contact. First killer. Trying to perhaps bump Juicy from behind. Will now turn back into the play on full boost. First killer. Pinch pass attempt. Broken up. Juicy now marching downfield. He's got the pop. He's going sidewall. Double misses it. 
It's a skim, in fact, off that one. Now, first killer. How many times do we see this? So much space. He's going ceiling. Gets one more. Gets two more. And he dumps his own shot. Almost the highlight reel just kept out. Gentlemates thanking their lucky stars on that one. And we saw some contact as well. First killer so close to tying it up for Gen Chi. Now Itachi looking in field. Juicy, he's blocked. And apparently Jack will try to get something going on the other end. Yeah, he's got to fake the must. He goes low looking for bumps. Chronic with a huge dunk as well. It's awkward for Seiko. Just gets it to the wall as a teammate there loses the 50. Gentlemen, and both sides probably think they should have scored. Back to back attacks there, back to back offense. Satachi just trying to pop that one up. This is the touch bit here. He's given space for himself here, and there's another Busty. I mean, it was his first killer, did it? Everyone seems like they want to have a go. <laughs> well, Itachi was being threatened with the bump, needed to jump anyway, tried to make the most out of a bad situation, and now you see first killer. Flip reset 50. Wasn't able to get much going. Apparently, Jack's trying to keep it in. Juicy will pick up the mid after launching it over. Battle for possession right now at the midfield. Yeah, Genji look just to have backed off, off a touch there, and that gives space for a touchy shot on first killer. Oh! Brief lip save behind him. It was so awkward. Let's keep that one out. He's a missed touch from Juicy. Seiko finds a touchy back down. That'll keep pressure on for now. They've got low boost here. Oh, gentle mates. Able to scoop up a couple of hundred to keep the pressure on. Apparently Jack with space. Takes it up. Gets a touch, it touch, he gets 50. Jack has a reset, gets out of it. Seiko now just pops it forward. One minute left for Gen G to try and tie it up. Chronic tipping it over to first killer. 50 by Juicy, but it's a nice result for Gen G. Back down to the corner, but a booming clear from Itachi. Forcing Chronic to go back. Up to first killer. First right killer pass. looking for Jack. It's a shooting opportunity. The shot is placed perfectly. Apparently, Jack scores once more for Gen G. Look at the three-man pass play for Gen G as well. It was Chronic to FK. So much space for Jack across the pitch. And the shot was nothing but quality. Would you expect anything less from a major champ? Apparently, Jack now. Good wants one more. He gets the, the pass to first killer. Back oh. one touch. Seiko misses! A game of inches. Apparently, Jack dodging the contact, getting the setup. And first killer navigates around Seiko for the go ahead goal. Gen G have flipped game five on its head. They just need one little moment, one opportunity. They took it. They get the extra off the kickoff, and now they've got the lead. Gentle mates pushing forward. Drop down in more. No! The response there for Gentle mates. Juicy forcing the issue. That second touch. It waterfalls down for Itachi, who was hoping and praying that that ball found him, and it did. And we got ourselves a game here on Aquadome, part two. 2.0, pop over the top, reset. Got coming through there, there's a touch, first killer. Can't quite get it, gentle mates. Have lost that possession there, and Juicy's tracking back. He's got zero boost, and that's a really awkward touch. He's done well, oh, 10 seconds. Oh. There's the shot, he saved it somehow. Will we get overtime here? This is a huge momentum, huge and the demo coming through. Juicy's backflipped. He wants this ball down and gets it. Over time, both teams just get to breathe a little. And surely you must have been worried there for Juicy, who had backflipped in that moment. Thankfully, I'm oh, sure Jack. Can't hold on. Thankfully, they found overtime. But Gentlemates were leading for most of this game. An incredible last-minute effort from Gen G has a chance now. Apparently, Jack with some boost going for the ball. Oh, Juicy oh. dodges one. Major MVP of last season, apparently Jack doing so much work. First killer with the cleanup. Gen G, that went down. Dinks the post, and that made all the difference. Gentle mates, after those first two games, they've lost three on the bounce. And now, if there's any Gentle Mates fans in the arena, they might need your support here in game six. Here we go. Will we get Champions Field? The first best of seven. First major of the season. There's a touch. Apparently, Jack in the midfield. 50 out. Bumps coming through. Connick's got an open net. And Tachi, he felt threatened. And for good reason. Apparently, Jack was chasing him down. And he opened up that gap for Chronic. 
Genji are absolutely snowballing their way to Championship Sunday at the moment. Juicy. Trying to spoil the party. There's the pass to attach. He tries to get the drop down. Chronic ready for it. Apparently Jack up in time. He's whipped. First kill there to help him. Will Gentlemates be able to respond? Seiko is going to have to bring some of that World Championship caliber gameplay to help bring them back in it. Chronic in the air. Pushing it by one off the ceiling. Didn't get his jump. He did, but needed to get back down to the ball. He was trying to find that ceiling, but in the end just got caught a little low there. Apparently Jack blocked out. Seiko trying to help. Jack's up, been beaten. First killer there, and again, so much space for FK. He's got a reset, doesn't quite get the touch he wanted. Chronic keeping that ball in for Gen G. Clear coming through, a lack of connection. Gentlemates, they haven't been in this situation before. They haven't been down at all in this tournament. It's been a breeze in the Swiss stage. Now they're facing elimination right here. Chronic over to first killer to pop. Juicy moving in, and it's another massive clear all the way downfield. Seiko will keep on it. Seiko to the backboard, gets bumped off, no double, but the rebound goal for Itachi is there! Just a huge response from Seiko. The first touch impeccable over the top of Chronic. FK dove, the bump came through from Juicy. Three-man offense from Gentlemates. They're getting so desperate up front, but they have to right now. Gen G with so much momentum. Such an important goal here in game six. What a battle we are witnessing. Gentlemates, they started strong, but then after the timeout, Gen G came out swinging. Gentlemates not finding any answers. It's a bad touch there, though. And it's going to be open. No shot, no follow up. Surely oh! one. Could have been it, still might be. First kill gets bumped, another shot, it's off again! Gen G should have got the two goals. Should have gone in front there. How much will that come back to bite them? Chronic's up now, off the side. Trying to fake out that touch, can't quite get it to work. Corner, apparently Jack. Trying to get a bump from his own, but again, gentlemen, hanging on. They finally break out after that pressure, and that last possession from Gen G will be one to review later on. <laughs> Surely they could have found a goal at some point. There's a team bump, but somehow through the chaos, it might have worked out. Rebound out to apparently Jack, but he's blocked. Seiko huge, he was getting bumped. Now the counter attack comes through. Flick over top, it's just Chronic left. Saves the flip and gets one more on it. Tachi just has to get it to the side. Chronic doing so well, so much value from that possession there. Juicy up, dusted by first killer. Over That's the Chronic, he's got Jack down. He's just got to get working around and keep that pressure on. Low boost here for Itachi. Oh, he picked up the mid though. got out here downfield. A huge 50 as well. Is there a shot coming through? First killer saves in the corner. Mega bounce off the side while Seiko tries to control it. Itachi, a lot of pressure on that possession. Not the best first touch. Ball leaks out to Chronic. Chronic dodges the first bump, but can't dodge the second. A bit awkward. Seiko wins the 50, but Itachi's very far back. And now the double commit. Chronic will try to find apparently Jack in the middle. Yeah, he's just going to fake out. You see the pre-jump. He notices it from Juicy. Apparently Jack's looking for a bump. Seiko, well, he's lost that ball. He's got the 50 on Jack, who stole the corner boost. Itachi downfield. First killer pre-jumping. Trying to sit behind that ball. Apparently Jack winning it, but it's over to Itachi. 100 boost. Gets it across with a bit of space. Popping it up now into the corner. Just over a minute left. Both sides, you feel like next goal might just win this. And it might be Masako! Itachi! He is dragging gentlemates to this victory. He has been on fire in every single one of Gentlemate Alpine's wins. A minute away from game seven kickoff. Here we go, Gen G, what do you got? Pushes it to the side. It's going to be a win here and possession for Seiko. He's looking so composed. He's got the flick. The touch there just coming through. First killer. It's over 50 seconds now. Gen G, they have to go. You don't want to go game seven, dropping six. When they had their chance to win. Well, we've been in this situation before. Gen G was able to score. They were able to flip the game script. Can they do it again to move on to the semis? Great boost grab there, and it's a free chance. Juicy's up in the air. Itachi now just getting bumped out. First killer, he somehow recovered, missed it though. A little bit of space for FK, taking low 50s. 
in the air. Seiko with 100 boost. It's awkward. Ball he's done touch. A, really, a fantastic first touch. Double commit. Chronic's up. First killer. Trying to keep that ball in. 15 seconds. Gen G. They want one here. Gentle mates. Want to force it to game seven. First killer's up off the backboard. It's oh. so awkward. Apparently Jack saves Seiko. Five seconds now. What can Gen G do? Flip first reset. killer's up. Makes the reset. Misses. Ball trying to be down. Still got to be alive. Gentle mates. Force champions field. And this crowd is starting to come alive. Game seven, Champions Field, here we go. One more game. That's all we've got in this series. Chronic misses that one. Jack Two keeping demos. the pressure on. There's the pass. Jack oh, gets the pass. Oh. Juicy ready in time. Could have been the best possible start for Gen G. Gentle mates, low boost, chronic shot on, more pressure, juicy. Reading that one, Demo's coming through. Jack's up, Jack's got two, Jack's oh, all over. At the top corner in his sights. A ferocious start for Gen G. They're clawing at the net, but gentle mates managed to fend them off. Now a double tap, not landed from Juicy. Rebound out to the middle, Seiko to Juicy. Juicy not able to get the shot on target. He just rushed that one, he had so much time. He was looking for the top corner, but just skinned off the side of his car. That 50 he's got to work for Chronic. Shot on and again. So much pressure on every moment and every touch right now. Seiko gets space off the side. 100 boost, he's looking for the pass. Gets the bump, the there's the follow. Touch to the wall, Jack, great positioning. Jack ready for that double tap attempt. There was so much space given to Gentlemates on that play. They weren't able to land it. Oh, we see the roll one in the oh, corner. Oh, it's broken. You can see the pressure and the Copenhagen crowd aren't too happy. There's the infield, no one home. It's actually no boost. Jack now trying to get something to work. Chronic and first killer, they're squeezing this offense. First killer's looking for a bump. Chronic's up. It's actually gets 50. Juicy's underneath it. Channel mates just getting that ball out for now. The pressure is building. Both teams have had good looks. Another pass over. Itachi didn't have a teammate nearby. You're just seeing there, there's the pressure. They're not ready to push up for the pass. Who's going to be that player? Game seven. Forget about play style, forget about structure. It's all about moments. Who's going to be the player to step up? It's a great touch from Juicy. Jack has to back off it. And he can he get one oh. more almost? Hold on. Gives it the first killer though. He gets the beat. Can he get one more save down just for Seiko? First killer trying to battle through that bump. Couldn't do it. But he has put Gen G on the attack. But Chronic will go racing back, denying boost on his way. He's got a hundred to work with. Bit of space as well. He's looking for a bump. It's the signature play of 2024. It's a free touch. Jack's gone. Oh, He's on to the defense. defense. A touch has an open net. Itachi is there to punch that goal in. Gen G, they overcommit and gentle mates punish. You could see Jack just weighing it up in his mind. Third man there, he was blindsided by Itachi. He got the open net. We've got half a game of Rocket League left. Gen G, they've done it before. Gentle mates, they've got the momentum now. Can they do it? Who's got the nerves of steel? Who's going to clutch up? and who will be moving through to Championship Sunday? Juicy, been making big stops all day long. Ball back out to Itachi. Itachi back down to the ground. He does fake out the first defender. Apparently Jack wasting a lot of boost on this play and Juicy launches that back towards net, forcing even more boost out of Gen G. Just seeing these touches, a little bit nervy, but Jack's just going for it. He's going for the bumps, chronic. Juicy doing what so touch. well there just to fake it out. He gets one more. First killer is in a little bit of trouble. It touches right there. Goes low shot on one. Follow up. Fake down. Nerves of steel for gentle mates. Itachi started that play with a perfect touch. Bringing that ball upfield. Itachi getting that ball to Seiko and the composure, the boldness from Seiko to slow it down. To do that on chair, hang on a minute. Well, haven't we seen this from Europe before? Just when you think 
that they should be playing a little bit more conservative. Oh. A little bit safer. Right when you think this is about to be settled. They turn upfield and they've given Gen G some hope. Chronic, Zair dribble shut down. Seiko off the ceiling. That shot blocked. Apparently Jack going for a 50. Got by one, but Juicy pops it up. Juicy will stay in the play, but he's beat to that ball infield to Chronic. Chronic will launch it upfield. Seiko has been cold, blooded, really. Looks like he has nerves of steel. No panic from him, even on defense. They'll need that for this final minute. Here we go. This is where champions are made. This is where greatness occurs. Juicy with the pop, first killer. Gives space for Chronic. He's gonna find, apparently, Jack. That's a strong shot. Puts it on net, safe for Seiko. Relatively conventional. Juicy keeps it to the side. Do gentlemates have those nerves of steel you spoke about? Chronic with the catch. I missed the corner boost, though. Has the bailout on the play, a bit awkward. Rebound out to Itachi. Itachi the 50 over. Jack will snag it, but he's blocked by Juicy, who has been brilliant. Trying to feed Seiko. Seiko wasting time. Seiko, the 50, finds its way to Juicy, who finds the backboard. And Chronic will launch this downfield for the final attack. This is it for Gen G. It's an awkward touch. 10 seconds left. Here we go. Apparently, Jack gets the shot. It's wide. Itachi just looking for the ground. Gen G looking for one more. 